Hey guys, welcome back to this playlist where I show you how to build a SaaS product using Cloudflare Workers. My name is Confident and I am a developer advocate at Cloudflare. So far, we have completed most bits of the application we're putting together. So in the last video, we saw how to create a durable object that goes on to render the article that is received by the application. And in this video, what we'll do is set up the email sending workflow so let's switch over to my computer and let me show you what we'll be doing so looking at the architecture diagram we already have this bit done this is what we completed in the previous video now in this video we'll get this bit done which is going to fetch the cached article from the kv store and get it sent as an email to the user's Kindle device. And it's going to be really awesome. We're going to do some email sending with file attachments. It's going to be really cool. All right, so let's get started and let me switch over to my IDE so we can get going. Okay, so right here, what you want to do is we'll need to install a couple of articles. So I'm going to have to quit the server or rather we need to install a couple of libraries. So let's quit the server. We can clear the screen. We can also make this big and let's install two libraries. We're going to install the resend library and resend is an email delivery service. This is what we're going to be using to get the email with the attachment sent to the user's Kindle device. We're also going to be installing a Slugify library and that is going to help us generate a name for the pdf file that will be attached to the email so let's get these installed and we have both installed now i can head back to the browser so we can set up our resend account we haven't used resend it's actually a really nice email delivery service it's really easy to use and um, i highly recommend it i have set up my resend account with my email domain which is megaconfidence.me if you have not done this before there are instructions here in the documentation on how to get started. So you want to go to documentation, serverless, Cloudflare workers, and you have the information here. But we already created a video showing you how to set up your email domain with Cloudflare, how to set up an email routing domain, and how to use that with resend. So I'm going to leave a video to the top corner of the screen so you can check that out and see how to set up an email account using resend and cloudflare and that should be awesome so i already have this done like i mentioned earlier i have my email domain configured and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the api key section to create a new api key and that's because we'll be using the resends rest api using the sdk rather to send an email and that requires an api key so i'm going to call this web to kindle starter and we are going to set the access to just sending emails only and we can restrict it to our mega confidence that me domain so let's add this i'll need to copy this because it, i'm only going to be able to see this one so ensure you have your api key copied and that's good to go heading back to the application what i'll do here is let's go create a dev.vars file dot dev dot vars and this is where we can store all of our environment variables and uh, secrets. So I'll create one for resend key, and that's going to be what we just copied. Then I'll also create another for um, the from email because our, our application needs to know what the from email is, and that's what you have configured on resend. Uh, I'll explain more in a bit. So this is going to be the from email and this is going to be my email domain created using uh, Cloudflare's email routing. Don't worry, that video up there is going to explain everything so you might need to check it out if you haven't done so already. So this is confident at mega dummy. So that's my from email. We can save this. Now that we have created some new variables, what I'm going to do is hop back into the terminal and we want to regenerate our types. So this is going to be npm run cf type gen. And you notice we now have two new types added to our environment. So we have the recent key, which is a string. And we now also have the from email, which is a string, all coming from the environment variable we created in the dev.vars file. 
Now, one thing you also want to do here is that you want to deploy these secrets you have created in the dev diverse file. And it's really important because you want your cloud worker to know about this secret and so you don't have errors in your application when it's deployed. So we're going to run this command mpx wrangler secret bulk and then you tell it the file where you have those secrets in which in this case is the dev diverse file so this is going to ensure that our deployed worker also has access to these two secrets we have added to the application and you can see we have added the recent key and the from email to our web to kindle starter application that's all good now we can actually start coding so i can head back here and Let's go to, let's go upon the workflow.ts. What we want to do is in the source directory, let's create an email.ts file. So this is going to be email.ts. All right. And here's where things start getting interesting. So we can import all of the tools we need here. So I can import stuff from resend. And I want to import a couple of things. So I want to import the create response success. Okay, create email response success. I think that's the right one. We also want to import the error response and we also want to report import the recent uh, SDK itself. Then I'm also going to need to import the Slogify library and that's because we'll use it to generate the file name when we get to attach the file to the email so this is import slogify all right that's cool and here we can create our send function so this is going to be what our send function looks like export default async function send and this is going to have a couple of uh, uh, parameters we want to have access to the environment which is going to be env we also want to have access to the user's kindle email we want to have access to the article which is going to be an array buffer and lastly we want to have access to the url which is also going to be a string. Then, because this is an async function, we'll return a premise that has a type of email status or some, some, some sort of status. Let's just call this email, email status, and that's the body of our function. So let's go create this type. Uh, so type email status is going to be an object that has a data which is the create email response success or null and it could also have an error which is going to be the type of error response or null so this is just like typescript stuff but inside of this function this is where we create the email and we get it sent so to do that i will need to create a new resend instance so this is called const resend equals to new resend i want to pass in our api key which we can grab from env dot resend key and then we can actually go send the email but because it's a lot to type i'm just going to copy paste it and i'll explain what we're doing so here we go to call the send uh method and we need to tell it what the from email is so remember we configured the from email in our environment variables that is going to be used here so that when the email gets delivered and you check the from you're going to say confident and mega confident than me in this case the two email is going to be the user's kindle email address you can do some validation here to lock it down to only at kindle email addresses but i'm just going to leave this open so we can test this with a non-kindle email address and you can set a subject you can set a text and lastly you want to add the pdf file which is the article that has been rendered so we're going to get the article get it added here and we're using the slugify uh, library over here to ensure that we are converting the URL 
to a slug and then adding a dot pdf so that we have like a nicely formatted file name all right so this looks good and it seems we have the send function done i can get this file saved and let's head back to the workflow.ts file so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to import the send uh function here and we can get back to the step to send an email and we can actually write this step out so this step is going to need to fetch the article from the kv cache and then pass it over to the send function so that it is sent as an email to the user so let's do that const article equals to wait this dot env the article cache we want to get and the key is the the article's url so remember the previous step which is the render and cache that calls the method and the durable object renders the article and caches it into the kv store so we're going to get that article from the kv store given the url and we want to tell it that we are getting we just give us the bytes so we can say get type of array buffer all right and then we can run the send function so this is going to be return wait send we want to pass in the environment this is the env we want to pass in the email we want to pass in the article okay let's ensure that's going to always be there i also want to pass the url and with that we are good to go so now we can deploy this app all right we have the app deployed and we can run the dev mode afterward npm run dev okay so that looks good what i'm going to do is let's give this a test to see if the email is getting delivered after the article is rendered so let's uh let's head over to my api test playground so again we're using the example.com website and we're using my work email which is not a kindle email and that's because we're testing this out so let's hit the send button and we get a response saying that our workflow has been received and it is queued and let's head to the browser to see if this gets delivered so i'm going to go to my dash and we can go to take a look at the workflow so this workflow was completed um, a few seconds ago and all of these steps seem to have run successfully. All right. And if we take a look at the last step, which is send article to user, if you take a look at this, you'll notice that we have an output and that's the output that was returned from the send method. So this has the send ID, which is the ID of the email that was uh, sent and we don't have any errors. So if I go check my inbox so let's go open up my inbox you notice that we have that email delivered and we have the pdf file the name of the pdf file was slugified which is https example.com we can take a look at this this is the example.com website which is awesome it's great that this works and one other thing i wanted to call out here is if you take a look at the from email this was the email was set in our environment variable which is confident and mega confident than me so we have the entire process working this is really awesome in the next video which is going to be the last video in this playlist i'll show you how to set up the first step which is checking to see if the article is cached or not all right i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye